the 2023 edition of the Trainers Toolkit is out. And they advertise it as being everything you need to build a powerful deck. I believe this is the fourth iteration of the Trainers Toolkit we've seen so far. I don't have the new one yet, but I do have last year's kit here with the, the Luminion that came with it. And I wanted to discuss the the contents of the 2023 iteration of the trainer's toolkit and whether or not this is worth picking up i'm jeff from in thirdperson.com make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and yeah let's talk about this trainer's toolkit and generally who it's for it is a great supplementary tool for someone who already has a deck whether it's a v battle deck an ex battle deck or a, a league battle deck like I've got the Palkia one here. This Trainer's Toolkit is a great library of cards and, and other goodies that one can use to kind of f further solidify their decks and, and get rolling that way. So inside this box, you're getting 100 basic energy cards. You're getting four booster packs, two Paldea Evolve, one Scarlet Violet, one Silver Tempest, 65 card sleeves, a deck builder's guide, six damage counter dice that look like this, two condition markers, one co competition, a legal coin flip die, an acrylic V-Star marker, and a code card for PTCG Live to get the cards that are in here in this toolkit into your PTCG Live. And if you're wondering what cards they are, let's go and review them over here. So I've got it pulled up on PTCG Live so we can discuss. Uh, th the big promo this year is you're getting a copy of Arceus V Star and Arceus V. This is this is awesome. Arceus V is one of still one of the best Pokemon in the game. And not only that, if you have any sort of Pokemon V based deck, Arceus V Star just makes it better because it's a really solid attacker, helps you get two cards, any two cards you want from the deck, does solid damage, and accelerates energy to Pokemon V. So a lot of players are still playing with Pokemon V, and this is going to make them better. And there are even some EX decks like the Meowskarada EX deck, which oftentimes just runs 1-1 one, one Arceus V-Star just for the the, the Starbirth ability, and then it's still great. So amazing choice for promo here. As far as trainer cards go, we're getting a whole bunch, and sorry, you're going to have to look in this box over here in the corner. Um, we've got two copies, and just to keep in mind, it's two copies of every card except for Professor's Research. You're actually getting four copies of them, two of the Professor Sada and two of the Professor Turo. So four copies of research. That's actually great because normally these trainer toolkits only come with two of a kind. And here you're getting a full playset of professor's research and professor's research is one of the best cards like ever printed. And you're going to want three to four of them in almost every deck you build. So getting four of a kind in this iteration of the trainer's toolkit is awesome. We're also getting trekking shoes really great for... Um, getting to see further into your deck, heavy ball for being able to grab basic Pokemon out of your prizes. That being said, most decks at most will run one, uh, but two cards, it's fine. Pokegear 3.0 lets you look at the top seven cards of your deck and, and grab a supporter of your choice. This is a decent card to have in here, and yeah, it's going to be legal for years to come. It's not a bad inclusion. Magma Basin for some fire energy acceleration. Gardenia's Vigor. This is the, the grass support card. It does seem like they try and get one of one card, one trainer card for each type. Uh, Jacques is kind of a questionable inclusion here. Search your deck for up to two evolution Pokemon. Like you could just use Ultra Balls for that instead. Um, item based search instead of Jacques. So no one's really playing Jacques right now. Electric Generator is really nice for electric decks. Pretty much a must have getting two copies of Irida water decks and even some non-water decks play Irida because of how good the card is letting you grab a water Pokemon and an item card of your choice two copies of Palpad really solid Nest Ball nice inclusion here this is pretty much a staple card for of in every deck we play going forward um, Gutsy Pickaxe not a particularly strong card in the current meta this is probably going to be better in Paldea Evolve now that Ting Lu is here but um, it's it's yeah, I guess if you're building a fighting deck, you probably want a couple of these. Thornton is a very funky card. 
in that it lets you change the basic Pokemon on the bench or in the active with one in the discard pile. Very situational card. Most decks, if they run this at all, will only run one, but we're getting two copies here. Arvin is a pretty decent card that lets you grab an item and a tool from your deck. Beach Court's a nice inclusion in here as well because you get to retreat for one less for basic Pokemon. Uh, Lost Vacuum, really nice card. Such an important card for moving tools and stadiums from play. Cynthia's Ambition hasn't seen as much play in recent times, but especially in single prize decks where you're getting knocked out a lot, this helps you draw up to eight cards. Two copies of Raxan is pretty clutch. This is a great late game disruption card where if your opponent has three prizes or less, you, you sh both players shuffle their hands into their deck. You draw six cards, they draw two. Uh, Sharon's Care is great for normal decks, normal typing decks like Arceus to just wipe them off the board. Two copies of Dark Patch. There's our dark support here. Two copies of Boss's Orders for Gusting. Two Ultra Balls. Two Switch and rare candy which is becoming more important in the current meta especially as stage 2 pokemon with stage 2 ex has become more prevalent and then for special energy we're getting two copies of double colorless energy now generally speaking i think this is a really solid lineup of trainers there's a couple of things i would nitpick here and there like i don't necessarily think we need jacques um and and stuff like that but the biggest there's a couple of trainers i would have liked to have seen that did not make the cut and i understand why certain ones didn't make it um there are some really meta relevant trainers that aren't in there because they're rotating next year something like a a raihan or a melanie is not in this year's box because they are um, unfortunately rotating next year cards like switch cart and Lost City would have been really helpful there as well. They're not rotating anytime soon, but they, they are not in the mix, unfortunately. Path to the Peak continues to be one of the strongest stadiums in the meta right now, and we're not getting it in this set. And I'm not going to go through all the cards. Yeah, the, the four seal stone, amazing card, not in the not in the trainer's toolkit. Sky seal stone, a little more situational, not in the toolkit. Choice belts are everywhere still, not in the toolkit. Uh, lots of weird omissions for Lost Box stuff, right? We didn't get Mirage Gates in, in the trainer's toolkit. No copies of Colorus's Experiment. Serena, I know like Pokemon V are, are going to be phasing out over time. Would have been nice to have it in this year's iteration because Pokemon V are still very much relevant in the meta. And then a couple other ones that I think could have been included as well. Level Ball, Rescue Carrier, Cross Switcher, and Collapse Stadium as well. Now, I, I think that this is the Trainer's Toolkit, the 2023 version is still very much a a worthy addition to your collection especially if you are just starting out and you need some trainers maybe even two um but another option to consider here is maybe still picking up the 2022 version this is the one i have here because you're a couple of these cards have rotated out unfortunately stuff like marnie is not going to work anymore however you're still getting two luminion v and a number of the trainers that i mentioned level ball um collapse stadium path to the peak that didn't that aren't in the set are still here in this one so um, the 2021 or 2022 edition is still kind of worth considering. That being said, there are older versions of this as well. There's a 2021 version that has Crobat. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend it at this point in light of the fact that pretty much everything in that box has rotated out. And the one even older than that with the Dedenne is pretty much obsolete as far as standard play goes as well. So there we go. That is a look at the, the trainer's toolkit 2023 edition i will be buying this at some point um right now is probably not the best time for me but between all of the trainer cards that are in there and actually i really need one more arceus v and v star so that i can i can really get popping off with arceus irl this is going to be a great pickup for me and again i wouldn't necessarily say this is your first purchase but if you already have a deck whether that is a a, a league battle deck like the Palkia one or even like the the Battle Academy or EX battle decks this is a great way of souping up your decks with a lot of great cards in one neat package 
So there we go. What do you think of the Trainers Toolkit 2023? Let me know in the comments of this video. But for now, we got to get rolling. YouTube or Twitch, Twitch fam, stick around. We're going to keep playing. But for our YouTube family, we got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Some quick plugs before we go. You can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at In Third Person. You can find me on Twitch at In Third Person, where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. like I am right now. And check out the website, InThirdPerson.com, for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.